Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is the Spirit Font and we are having a look at your energies for the month of August 2021. It is general so it will not resonate with you all. You're going to have to use that intuition to see if this is truly your reading. If it is, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. You're welcome to book a personal reading. That information is, the is in the description below if you're interested, okay? Alright Scorpio, let's get into your energies. Scorpio, very strange energy that you guys seem to be sitting in right now. I'm just sensing that the Scorpios that I'm connecting with currently are sitting in a very pessimistic energy for some reason. Uh, possibly there was some sort of disappointment that happened. Maybe your relationship didn't manifest the way that you were hoping. Or possibly for some of you, there could be some sort of rejection here where you went forward with an offer, but it wasn't received. But I'm just seeing that a lot of you are sitting in a little bit of a... I don't want to say it's a pity party, to be honest, Scorpio, but this is a very heavy energy of feeling like you are just not where you should be in life. It's also an energy of looking at things with the glass half empty. This is an energy of kind of feeling like you've missed a lot of opportunities in your life. I'm just sensing a very regretful, unhappy, pessimistic energy that you are currently in. It's this energy, though, that I feel could be creating a little bit... um. I feel like you're manifesting from a very low vibration right now in the sense that you are trying to manifest something quite beautiful, but the energies that you are currently in are just manifesting more disappointment. Does that make sense? Because you're currently studying your life from such a pessimistic energy, that's the energy that you keep picking up in your life. That's the energy you seem to be in. You just seem to be very disappointed about something not manifesting in the way that you had hoped. For some of you, it's financial maybe you invested in something and unfortunately it just didn't go um the way you were hoping it would and for some of you i'm just sensing that love has been a bit difficult where you've gone forward with a very vulnerable and open heart but unfortunately you've been manifesting situations that just left you in a very disappointed um energy and also feeling possibly rejected or feeling like love is a missed opportunity like I said, though, guys, this is a very um, pessimistic energy. It's a little bit of a pity party, a little bit of a what was me energy that I need to warn you about in the sense that, yes, there have been some disappointments. And for a lot of you, it could have been three relationships, three people who disappointed you, three investments that you were um, trying out, but that has left you in this sad situation. But what you might be failing to see is that the universe has something cooking for you. There are still these two cups standing for this person to use to, in order to reach their destination. But right now, Scorpio, you're just staring at these spilled cups and not necessarily recognizing that you aren't at the end of your destination. You're still in the journey, okay? A lot of you could be sitting in a very... It's almost like you want to give up. You want to give up on love. You just feel like that person will never manifest. You'll never find your partner. But do understand that your thoughts are manifesting into your reality. And by thinking so pessimistically, you are blocking the universal energies that are trying to flow towards you. It's time to release this turbulence. It's time to release this internal conflict. It's time for you to also start to see things from a different perspective. These three spilled cups that you are Receiving as missed opportunities could actually be lessons that have developed you to manifest the kind of relationship you've been looking for but unfortunately in the past maybe you just weren't ready maybe there was something that you just weren't uh, doing correctly but because of your disappointments you've learned the lesson and if you see that that um if you see your circumstances from that perception that they're not failed situations but more learning lessons you'll be able to get back into the flow of life get back into this boat with your lessons and flow to Towards something a little bit more easy for a lot of you. I think that's something I need to say. I do sense that it's been a bit of a battle for you guys to manifest in the past couple of months, but do understand that a lot of it is coming from the energy that you are sitting in, okay? Change your perception and you change your vibration. Change your vibration and you change the flow, and that's this energy that you now need to foster within yourself. It's time to get back into that independence. It's time to get back into that nine of pentacles energy. Very independent, 
uh, self-sufficient, no codependency within this energy. This is someone who's working on their pentacles while beautifying their space, while beautifying themselves. So this person goes to the gym, they eat well, they make the right decisions for themselves, they nurture themselves, and they basically are dating themselves. This is the energy you now need to foster within yourself, releasing yourself from that disappointment and working towards coming to this independence is the energy that will manifest the type of stability you've been yearning for for so long Scorpio for some of you from these past situations that were very disappointing once again if you see that those disappointments have brought you to this pre-empress energy where you fully understand who you are and you fully understand what it is that you are looking for notice that that could be the lesson instead of being so disappointed and that is the energy that could shift this vibration into the right gear and start bringing down your rewards for all of the difficulties that you have been through okay i do sense that this reading is coming as a little bit of a warning to you scorpio to trigger this energy yourself by letting go of the past not doubting your present and allowing the future to come in okay um, i do sense that a lot of you are sitting in a very it's almost like you just honestly feel like you'll never find a, a soulmate possibly people around you are, are starting relationships but for you it's been a bit of a struggle you need to let this go you need to release the turbulence that you are experiencing and sail towards calmer waters and for a lot of you this is a personal energy this is not something someone else is going to be able to do for you you need to conquer your thoughts right now and reprogram your mind into this abundant self-sufficient very confident human being the type of thoughts where you know who you are what you are whether you're single or not you know that you are deserving and it's from that energy that a divine counterpart a divine relationship something very stable and traditional will come in towards you i do sense that there are some scorpios once again that this could be financial so do let go of whatever financial disappointments you've been through possibly some failed career choices understand that those were just learning lessons you've now pivoted into a position where you are able to invest correctly because you've learned the lessons and from this independent strong um how do I put it? Very confident. That's just an energy I'm picking up that you need to uh, foster within yourself. That's what will be able to manifest the abundance that you've been looking for and the fin financial stability you've been yearning for for quite some time. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Wow. I do hate the energy that a lot of you seem to be sitting in, um, but I do sense that you're sitting in it for a reason. There possibly have been a lot of disappointments for you guys, as I've mentioned. But yeah, let's get some clarification. I, oh my God. Did you guys see that? I've literally been saying the whole reading that you need to change your perception and it's time to heal um, and just allow things to balance out for yourself and then the hangman and temperance come out. Wow, guys. Once again, it's time for you to just see things from a different perspective. Go within yourself and find enlightenment as to why, wow, you are feeling so stuck, so battered and bruised. Why you're not trusting yourself, trusting the universe, trusting the process. Why you're not allowing yourself to heal and let go. Because it's once again this energy that is preventing. It's creating blockages and boundaries from the beautiful divine energy that's trying to come in towards you. You are slowing your own rewards down guys and it's all because of the mental state that you are currently in be aware that your thoughts are manifesting blockages instead of manifesting the happiness that you so desire it's time to step within to your intuition listen to your thoughts really listen to yourself challenge yourself to heal and balance those energies temper yourself be patient with yourself and the energies will start to balance out where you start to see the evidence of true love coming in a real offer from someone a lot more stable and reliable but guys it is the knight of pentacles uh, paired up with temperance guys this is not a fast moving energy because you've been creating blockages with your thoughts um do understand it might take some time for the universe to understand that you're changing your perception but it will eventually and that's when the person that you so desire comes in and that's when your energies balance out okay wow 
Hope that this reading is helping you guys in some way. Let's see what's coming towards you guys due to you fostering that co um, independence, not codependence, okay? I do see that energy being rewarded once you do find that self-esteem. Wow. A lot of you guys, um, you're about to step into some financial abundance as well, possibly after feeling a lot of poverty or lack in your life. Um once again you've gone through everything that wow look at these cards you've gone through everything that you've gone through to teach you how to better invest and how to finally uh foster success okay how to actually work with money look at these energies oh my god so whether this is romantic or financial scorpio there's are shifts that are coming towards you very quickly for some of you it is romantic there's an offer of love for some of you this is financial for some of you it's both there's just a new cycle a new fool's journey that you're stepping into like i mentioned before a lot of you have waited a very long time for this maybe you've been single a long time or you've been struggling with that budget for a while and maybe it's that energy that fostered this uh, pessimism but do understand that success is right around the corner once you change your perception once you start working from these nine of pentacles energies okay it starts with you scorpio I, unfortunately this isn't one of those miracles that are going to fall out of the sky um it's not happening currently because you're not allowing it to happen you're not actually staring at this cup that the universe is bringing towards you you're staring at the spilled cups and not noticing the two standing cups behind you um be aware of your thoughts it's time to get put some effort into changing how you're seeing yourself um start seeing yourself for the god or the goddess that you truly are and that's when you will manifest the kingdom that you so deserve okay whatever that is if it's financial or romantic these energies are all around you success is all around you take the cup take the pentacle okay wow what a beautiful reading, Scorpio. I apologize. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place, but there's so many messages, um, lots of energies here. I just hope that you find your message somewhere in there, okay? Whew. <laughs> Let's get some clarification using the light seers. Um, how far are we? 12 minutes. That's perfect. We'll get a couple of oh, we'll get a couple of cards from the light seers. Jeez. Wow, guys. Wow. Wow. This is, oh, this is beautiful, guys. A lot of conflict, a lot of internal conflict, but possibly this is just the energy that you now need to fight through. You need to start um, fighting through your thoughts, fighting through that pessimism and start fighting towards that torch, that flame, that passion, that thing that ignites this nine of pentacles, whatever it is that it is for you, whether it's a career, whether this is painting, whether it's um, hanging out with your friends, this maybe it's going to the gym for some of you, um, going for a massage just taking care of yourself you now need to fight for yourself i hope that that's making sense that's the energy i'm picking up from that five of wands um a lot of you could have been single for quite some time or once again living in a lack um or poverty energy for quite some time but it's time to go within guys and get enlightenment learn the lessons from the past because there truly are some gems in everything that you've been through as hard as it's been it's actually developed you into a very tough independent human being and that's something you should be proud of that's the energy you now need to step in you are this queen of pentacles you are a king of pentacles you are worthy you are deserving whatever you invest in will come towards you tenfold that's the energy you now need to be in what is yours what you desire can be yours but it all starts with what you are thinking you are the magician you are the manifester you are the you are the master of your universe, guys. There's no other way for me to put this. Um, it's time for you to come to some sort of judgment to release yourself from the past. Make the decision to step into this Queen of Pentacles energy. Stop waiting for the universe to deliver things to you and actually start bringing those things to you yourself with your vibration. There's a change on the horizon, guys, but it all begins with you, okay? unfortunately the queen of pentacles does not exist within the five of uh, cups unfortunately 
these types of changes do not occur until you allow yourself to go on a journey okay waiting will only keep you stuck in your missed opportunities make the decision to release yourself because the universe wants to reward you it wants to reward you tenfold okay for all of the hardship that you've been through you're about to receive something for it okay a lot of you are now rolling your eyes right now because you're sitting in that pessimism. But remember, that's the energy you now need to conquer. Okay? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Same energies are being repeated here, guys. My God. So, yeah. Some of you are just have been uh, dealing with a lot of abandonment energies or possible rejections or possibly even poverty once again. Finances have been a struggle. It's these struggles that have created these worries within you guys. But it's those worries that are creating the imbalances in your life. Your thoughts are literally manifesting into your reality. You're wondering why life is making you feel so depressed. It's because you are so depressed that life is making you feel so depressed. I hope that that's making sense, guys. I know it's a lot easier said than done, but the Seven of Pentacles has come out twice as an indication that all of those seeds you planted in the past are not forgotten. The universe has been nurturing them slowly, and it's about to... Um, they're about to blossom, but once again, you're the one that triggers this energy by stepping into the Six of Swords, jumping on this boat and allowing the universe to take you where it feels you should be. It's time to nurture yourself, guys. It's time to love yourself. It's time to focus on your passions, focus on your businesses, your career, your thoughts, and your, my God, three queens here, guys. You need to step into your queen energy. You need to clear your thoughts of negativity you need to chase your passions and you need to mend a broken heart you now need to be a boss i don't know how else to say it guys the universe will deliver but you are the one that's in charge okay i can't say it any other way um shifts are happening changes are happening allow them to happen release the past release the disappointment that's pretty much your reading scorpio i hope that it's helped let me know in the comments below how this has gone for you okay your grounding energy unfortunately is rock bottom I don't get this card much. I don't think I like the message. But I guess from the bottom, you can only go up. Maybe this is the energy you guys are in. You're so pessimistic. You're just that rock bottom. But let's see what the universe has for you. As difficult as it may be to accept, it seems that you've reached a point where you can no, when you can go no further in the same manner in which you've been doing things. Perhaps you've hit a proverbial brick wall or experienced a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. Oh, the old way of doing things must be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction and a new strategy are called for. The only way out is through so surrender wow that's so beautiful the only way out is through surrender accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea where what to do next if you wait in the heartfelt moment of release then a stay away will appear like magic wow didn't we get the magician and all manner of synchronicities will show you the way to higher ground. Wow. The rock bottom card is a sign that a miracle is about to occur. But only if you let go completely. Guys, that's literally everything I said. Oh my God. You are blocking your own miracles, guys. The universe wants to reward you. Let it get out of your own way, Scorpio. Wow. That rock bottom card just really resonated with me. I hope that it resonated with you guys. I hope that the whole reading resonated with you guys. I feel like I've been a little out of balance in this reading. So maybe take a look at that. Uh, balance your energies, get grounded, and just let the universe take over as you step into your nine of pentacles energy, okay? Foster that self-esteem. Love and light, guys. Bye.